Hi and welcome to my point of sales management system developed using Excel. So I'm gonna start by clicking on this and now we select any of the item that you intend to buy and just enter the amount that you want. Let's go for one as well or RAM. Now let's go for the bottle of one, maybe five of those, and all you just need to do once you finish your shopping, click on total and there. So what I'll do now is take you guys to Excel development environment and we'll put one of these together using VBA. So let's do that now. Hi. Uh, this is a point of sales management system that I'm going to be developing in Excel. To start with, I'll go to File, just to make sure the Developer tab is on. So let's come in here, right in here, you see where it says Customize. Select the Customize ribbon, just make sure your Developer checkbox is checked. Then click on OK. And that's your Developer menu right there now click on the developer menu and select visual basic once visual basic is selected go to insert right here and select user form now your interface should be similar to this you can always drag to define your interface or you can just come right down here in the properties and define your interface Okay, for the form, I'm going to define the width to be 1000. Let, let me move this up so that you guys can see what I'm talking about. The width right here. Or maybe let's drag it here. Let's come in here and enter 1000. And let's make it 1013. That's the width and the height. As for the height, I'm going to make that. 693 693 that's the height okay so let's close that now that the property itself is ready okay the next thing I want to do now is to select let's select the buttons that we will need or well, before that let's get I think we're going to need a frame. Yeah, let's use a frame one here. Let's drag it down. And this very frame, I'm just going to get rid of the text content on it. I think it's caption. Okay, that's it right there. Get rid of it there. Now, this same frame, hold down the control and just copy, copy it across. All right and in here in this very first frame let me add the following or we add some buttons here those are my buttons ready but i need a room up here i need some rooms in there so let's grab a label and that very label change the caption let's change that to category and let's change the font change the font to bold and make that be 24 right and extend it that much and let's get it centered let's see a line yeah a line center I guess this is center yep yeah. okay that is fine actually let's add two more frames one here there now in here I need a checkbox one checkbox add a label or text box one text box here and then let's change the font of both component to about 18 as well right so I'm just going to copy it across okay just copy it across 
right that is fine so let me run it and see how the interface looks this is how it's looking right now so what I will do now get three text box let's copy it and paste it right there we we'll need three of those font change the font to bold and make that 20 as well 20 and the label so that will be the caption will be tags and then copy it across and change that caption to total and the other one here will be known as subtotal right there okay and we need one this one label here grab it I uh, want text box here let's undo that copy it okay I'm gonna run it now oh before that let's add a button let's add three buttons there one two and three so run it and we say yeah that's how the interface is looking now so I'll just speed up the whole naming process and so on and get back to you guys okay so far this how it's looking now let me just run it and see that's how it's looking but let's do something first and just save this let's come in and save that and uh, right here we've got to select excel macro enable workbook and here i'm just going to enter bba underscore POS or maybe I just call it Excel POS something like that Excel POS yeah that's fine so that's the name I'm going to call it but make sure you save us macro enable workbook so let's come in here my C drive and just yeah here we go save there okay so I'll just speed up the whole interface now and get back to you guys okay guys I've completed the design of the interface let me run it so that you see it there this is how it looks but the next thing I want to do now is to start work on all of this so let's double click on the form okay right up here i'm going to enter option explicit and declare the following variable dim i tot i tags us let's go for double and take it from there okay now let's come for that will be for subtotal total uh, subtotal I subtotal and the next one would be I total I total and we enter an array here and see what will happen with that let's go for maybe about I don't know how many I have in there for now let's just enter 30 and here underneath here let me declare some constant constant MC tax underscore rate and the tax itself okay let's just say dim tax then now the next thing I want to do is let's come in here and double click on the exit button for the exit button I'm going to enter as follows let's say dim i exit that's my local variable as shall i go for an integer yeah let's go for integer yeah and then i exit equals message message box and in here let's say confirm if you want to exit and let's put a comma there and the next one will be VB question okay that will be my icon 
plus VB yes no yes no comma and I would then enter point of sale okay that will be the title and no that, that, that should be a comma right there let's change that to a comma yeah and use an if statement to verify what is inside the exit button if exit equals vb yes then I will go for unload me and if all right so that is the exit button taken care of just from here down here all right let's see if this is gonna work exit no try it again exit yes that is fine okay that works how I want the system to to work so with that I think maybe I should call it the end of the very first part of this tutorial okay so I'll see you guys in the second part